Good morning and welcome back to the treasure hunt here in Project Zomboid, day five. Now, at the moment, we're still ahead of the curve, or on curve, rather. Five weapons collected, five days passed, way ahead of the curve, actually, since we have like roughly three days per weapon, right? Uh, with the 100 day timer, but been the easy ones that we've taken so far. Not so easy. Concealed carry? Don't mind if I do. So this is a police officer character here. I haven't fired a single shot yet in almost four days. Unusual. Also, it feels unusual quiet. Like, normally it's a real fight to get into EP tools. Okay. I mean, electrical one, yes, that's one of the books we were kind of looking at. You need to get to the bookstore. We found the mechanics books in our um, in our place. Remote door controller, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice for later on? Ah, let's get some tools here. Wouldn't mind another box of nails, exactly, a splitting axe, yes. Tactical axe, oh. I want those in a, a hot while. Uh, yeah, grab a pipe wrench. No, no, if we stay somewhere and we want to um, lump a sink. Plank, 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 plank. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where the zombies are. I'm <laughs> totally confused right now. Um, now this is standard apocalypse zombie setting, so it's not that's not a high zombie count by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also not shouldn't be this empty. Seeing any keys on the ground? No, not, not, I don't think I'm gonna start smashing in any cars here. I'm not even gonna test if this is open, or if it looks that trashy. Well, if no zombies are around, I guess we should just continue looting. This feels so odd. Hi. Right. Um, now this is a mixed kind of store. Some food, some clothing, some other stuff. No alarm. It's also nice. Yeah, we're not gonna be planting anything. Coffee. Take all the vitamins. We're not gonna have energy drinks this time around. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. We have actually a decent amount of access now. We can, we can take a look at the March Ridge map. Mm 
it needs. Peanut butter for breakfast. What's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's grab some food while we're here. Sure. Of course, you have the food on the same shelf as um, the gardening tools. I'll take some thread. Anything in the counter? No. I think I'm gonna spend too much time looking for that stuff. This is probably a storage room. No. Bathroom. This is a good storage room. A tiki torch. I'm seeing a lot of good stuff here. That's three boxes of cereal there. Gonna keep us. Uh, that's basically food for three days. So, gonna take the hatchet. I'm not gonna take any of that. I don't think. I, let's check the freezer here. We have like, oh yeah. We're looking for weight. Go in. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna keep that in mind that there's some fresh burritos in here. So we don't have to eat our our long-term storage food. Where are all the zombies? I am thoroughly confused. Maybe there was a meta event in the night that I didn't hear, and that kind of dragged them all in a different direction. But anyway, let's store up all our findings here. Yeah? Vitamins, yeah, coffee. Now I'm gonna store all the food, and then on the way back, we're gonna just grab a burrito or two there. Alright, split it. It's that Glock, big torch, pipe branch. Yeah, I'm just, just, just here to um, empty my pockets. Okay. Since I'm too lazy to walk, the car. It looks like there's nobody here who would complain about that. I'm just going to skip all these shops and we're going to go straight for the rural supplies. Seen all of that. Yeah, 
as we clean out those and then we go inside. It's it feels so empty. Like when we drove through here, didn't that look much much more crowded? One's closed. This one's closed. You can try the one around the corner. Also closed. So, do you know when this shop opens? I don't think he was trying to help me there. Somebody banging on a door. Unfortunately, she did not have a key for this building. Right, so, farming and rural supplies. You know, farming supplies, we're not going to farm. Run. But um, rural supplies? Yeah, we're gonna rural a whole lot. But first, let's check the shelves. Anything else that's worthwhile? Ooh, we don't have a poncho yet. What do we want? Urban camp. Alive. Poncho, poncho. Yeah, there's a lot of seats in this shop. If you ever need seats, this is the place to go. A farming mod installed, but not farming anyway. Okay. Um cigarettes. Um I guess we can just... Nope, I don't have a screw done. Yeah. That is a rookie mistake. Hang on, I have, I have a key right here. So we have... Not much. Oh, Oh, this is this is looking really empty. Okay, there's some there's some shotgun shells though. Canister of shotgun shells, ten boxes. Yeah, that, that should get us um, through some stuff. And we have some magazines here. Thirty-eight, nine, nineteen drum magazines. Okay. The big old question is, do we though, do we have a shotgun? That's... Not that shotgun shell canister. The magazine. I'm gonna grab all weapon attachments because I never know which one are good for anything. Yeah, 762. Six, six. I guess we do have a stunak. Yeah. Sure. We take the arc. We take your magazine. Uh, 
Um, do I grab another one of those? Sure. Yeah, we'll just bring it on the car outside. Well, honestly, yeah, we've got a bunch of shotgun shells, but no shotgun. We got a bunch. Uh, we've got some nine millimeter drum magazines, but no nine millimeter weapon or ammo for those magazines. And some 5.56 rifles that we're probably not skilled enough to use. So. Mixed bag of loot, I would say. Can't even fit that stuff anywhere. Which room was there? Fit the oak. Okay. Want the second one? Carry on. I'm already at the police station again. Yeah, I, I was tempted to rewatch the footage from yesterday. Because it clearly it felt to me like I was driving through hordes of zombies, going through town, doing something super risky, and now there's like four dudes here. Hearing somebody somewhere. No. Nope. Again. No alarm. Do we have here justice? Another weapon. Crossed off. All right, so we got some nine millimeter weapons. So, well, one nine millimeter weapon. Did we pick up some forty-five ACP ammo somewhere? Pick this one. Okay. Well, hmm. Bit torn now. Thought this would take much longer, and it's like we haven't even had lunch yet. We're basically done in this town. Yeah, zombie sounds probably from behind. So, my plan was to stay in this town until the helicopter comes, right? So there's two things. First of all, I don't think we have the radio frequency yet. So that's something to check. Um, and then, well, spending the time until the helicopter comes, as I said, reading some books, doing like electrical mechanics, And maybe some tailoring. So I guess we don't have the tailoring book yet. So at the moment I'm doing a quick drive-by through the rest of the town. Mostly, you know, checking if there's any barricaded houses that would have some more some more weapon loot for us. She can't quite make it out here. Yeah, I thought I saw a saw 
a barricade here. Okay. Oh, look at them. Six zombies. And another six or eight or so. Was another map fragment. Yeah, more zombies coming in. Still grabbing electronic stuff. Wish there was like a place to quickly rest here. Okay, maybe we do a stone. Just brief seconds. Oh, we could also do this. All right. Seven more plus this guy should be able to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably always a little bit over con uh, cautious at the start of a playthrough. Low nimble, not low weapon skill. is uh, hitting surprisingly well. Especially, you know, this is not a lumberjack or anything, it's just a police officer with brawler. But somebody barricaded this. Let's see if whatever they barricaded inside was worth it. this case, for these buildings, I will do the, the tour around here. It sounds like there's more than one guy inside. Size. It's concerning if I can't even pick up a watch anymore. Um, hang on, I think I left the door open. Let's not do that. Big door flash everywhere. Machete, wood axe, so we've got all of that. We don't care. Some books. Never wood axe, spike baseball bullet. Uh, 
That's what can't be. Well, that was um, not the most exciting survivor house. with these three guys here, and then get back to the car. As we continue the little um, exploration tour. So I don't think there's too much like in, in regular houses that would be in any way super interesting right now for me. But we're good on food, we're good on basic supplies and if we really need books we can always go to the bookstore and I think even though it's really just now I'm thinking about it tailoring the tailoring book so I can do the backpack upgrades that's kind of the only thing we're missing at the moment maybe that's another reason to stop by the bookstore so this town doesn't really have much to offer for to us here so I might have pulled in more than I would have liked. That's a bloody crawl on there. Like another splitting axe right here. Stick. the yeast here. Now I did say I'm gonna eat the, the fresh burritos from the store and not my canned food, but I'm hungry now. Baseball card. So at the moment, like at the start, on the first day, I thought we had really a lot of those baseball cards, so I wasn't concerned at all that we get all of them to assemble the treasure map. It's kind of slowed down a little bit. Just me a little bit concerned. Um, same thing for the, the map fragments. I have no idea how many we actually need, or if they're just some sort of law item and we find the location for the repeaters in some other way. Anybody's in here? Here? Oh, how did I miss that? Alright, so I was saying I was looking for tailoring volume one.
lots of volume twos and threes and four. Here we go, tailing one. And then again, mechanics one and two, we have oh, a place. I'm gonna, yeah, let's pick up mechanics three. I don't think I'm gonna get mechanics that high, but sure. Electrical we got. AK weapon systems. Okay, I think that's probably... That might come in useful, um, you know, knowing something about the guns you're using. Hey, it's getting late in the day. avoid this group. I don't want to drag them further north towards my my place of residence. What we'll do though is do one more quick exploration down this road because there are like three more houses here. to deal with you, don't I? And you know I can't just drive by a sports car without checking if it's if it's viable, although it looks a little bit more beat down than it looked from the distance. Annotated map, but it says we found this one already. Really? Have a look around. Nobody here. Alright. Yeah, okay. Um so should open that when I was inside there. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the fresh food from here. We're gonna head over to our gas station. And then I wanna chill for a few days. Probably first thing we're gonna read the tailoring book and then go outside as long as the corpses are still around and rip up all the clothes. Um yeah, then take care of electrical so we can get rid of all these watches. And yeah, then the rest. Then mechanical and I think we we had the videotapes for car zone. So that should also be a quick thing to learn. Also I kinda wanna get rid of those um bottles and use these here. Now we're gonna store everything in here. Keep some better vitamins on me. Alright, anything in here I need for the next few days. Maybe some happiness books from staying inside. Maybe carpentry one. 
That looks good. Yeah, I should probably at some point clear out those seats and put everything in the in the trailer. Yeah. Assemble and update repeater map. Now that we have four fragments, we can actually do that. Repeater a map location, add it to map. Yeah, no, hang on. Uh, that was here. Uh, this one was over here. Hi. Right. Um, repeater map location. Now, how far do I have to be zoned in? Or zoomed in over for you to show me exactly where that location is. Is it going to be somewhere in, in, in LV? Yeah, this is all from the annotated maps. Maybe there's still something I need to do with the... Repeater Zones map? Okay, I guess. Yes, I have to read it first. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, <laughs> crap. Really? Alright. March Ridge Church. Wonderful. Beautiful. What a choice. What a choice for a map location. Ah, the game's trolling me here. Okay. So anyway, let's uh, grab the... Yeah, grab all the tapes. All the tapes. Check. So you've got the tapes. We got carpentry, electric, tailoring, and mechanics was inside. Or did I throw that in here? Is the mechanics the one I have up top? It might be the one that I left in the bed in the bedroom. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna do like two or three days of reading here. We should still have some time to get the helicopter. The other thing I'm gonna do is grab a radio and find the helicopter frequency. You now it might actually slow. Do that. So, the normal approach is to find the helicopter. You know, you look at every radio that you come across and you just um, hope that it has the right frequency. The other thing you can do, if you have a radio, if you have a screwdriver to uninstall the radio, is you just simply open the radio and go through every single frequency. Uh, and then check if it is the right one. Takes a little bit more time. But it might also be faster depending on how quickly you would have found the right, the right radio anyway.
we can just drop that down. But I think before I do that, there's some more walkie talkies. Check those for the frequency first before I um, resort to the manual checking. All right, then one last thing. I'm gonna eat 5,000 burritos here right now. In the fridge. This one, equipped secondary, doesn't even have anything, okay. Oh, and there's 88.2, the automated emergency frequency. Alright, cool. That saves me a lot of work. So I think then we're just gonna place the radio I got from the car out here. And add the preset for the emergency broadcast system. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna take a few days um, off camera here, just reading through some books, getting some skills. Up. As I said, just the basics, right? We're gonna do tailoring so we can do upgrades to our backpack. Um, I'm gonna do electrical and mechanics so we can hotwire cars and maybe a scooch of carpentry in case we need to carpenter something. Alright, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. That was a meta event sound in that direction, so we might have zombies from that direction checking that out. I'll see you next time. <laughs>